Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And so the January transfer window has now closed. No more deals will go through. Uh, the Reds get through January without losing key players such as Alex Mower and Corley Woodrow. As well as signing a few players as well to keep the ship afloat. To keep us going in this crazy 2021 season. Um, yes. Very delighted that uh, we've kept key players. This is the second January window in a row that we've done that. That is fair play. We have to say fair play to the Barnsley board in terms of that. We've not lost Alex Mowat. We've not sold Alex Mowat. Uh, Corley Woodrow is still here, of course. Callum Styles is still here. So it's very, very uh, positive, as well as adding to it. Nah... I've said, I've said before, and I said in yesterday's video, I would have liked to have seen a couple more come in. However... I think with what we've signed, and there is a lot of, you know, um, good good reports coming out about um, Daryl DK that we signed on deadline day yesterday on loan. Um, Liam Kitchen, we yet to see. Uh, Carlton Morris, of course, only made the, 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 the subs bench up to now. Um, but I would have liked to have seen a midfielder, if I'm honest. However, I'm not going to sit here and be like I were maybe last year. Last year, if you remember, deadline day, I think it was the day before Charlton away. Bayek. God, I can remember that game. Charlton away at the Valley. Um, we lost that game 2-1 and there was quite a lot of um, bored out chance at that game. Particularly in the first half, I think a lot of fans were uh, unhappy with the fact that we'd not signed then when we needed to. And I think then we did need... I, I would personally looked at strengthening then because I was, I was upset. But I think this season... You know, we have gone for areas we needed to improve in. Defensively, you know, I think we sound there. Midfield, maybe just the odd couple bit with, you know, with uh, Mowat being the only real one to, to spring any light into any game this season in that position, you know. And then obviously losing Matty James, which was the club's decision. Uh, you know, they, they decided they didn't want to renew his loan with us from Leicester City. Um... So, yeah, I think that, that was a bit of a gamble. Hopefully, you know, it does pay off and hopefully we do get back to winning ways in the league. But I just want to talk about this January in general because we all know Alex Mowat is out of contract in the summer and by the club's policy, if they're not going to sign, they'll, they usually flog them. And nothing's come of it. Nobody's coming for Mowat. And I'm still confident he is going to sign. I ain't going to lie. I really, really am. I've said it before on here. Uh, I've said I think that it has all been sorted and they're just waiting to announce it. I could totally be wrong with that and I've said I will hold my hands up if I am. Um, but yeah, it's great to see that you know we have kept him because he's such a key figure. He goes, then there is no midfield if you ask me. Um, you know We've loaned out Thomas, we've loaned out um, the other one. Can't even remember his name because he's not even played for us. Um, so it was a bit of a gamble to let Matty James go, if you ask me. And I think Romal Palmer, you know, he's showing not not too serious injury that ruled him out of Nottingham Forest. So hopefully he will be back very soon. Um, so yeah, a bit of a gamble that. But in terms of players coming in, you know, um, the striker Carlton Morris. I'm we yet to see him for a full ninety or at least start a game so I'm wanted to see him ASAP Liam Kitchen of course signed injured so he's yet to make an appearance and obviously Daryl DK who came you know out of nothing really yesterday uh, and if you watch his highlight really looks good physical very 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 powerful so I'm looking forward to seeing him as well the area certainly up front was was needed addressing, and I think you know we've had we've looked at Woodrow more than any other player this season, and I think we did last season as well. To be fair, and I, we, we'd still not replace Kiefer Moore from the beginning of last season, if you ask me. And this style would suit him down to a T. It would, and unfortunately, we've not had that type of player. And Woodrow, I've said it before on here, he's been asked to do something. You know, he gets called out by a lot of fans for poor performances. I've called him out myself, but when you actually stop and think. The football that we're playing, Woodrow, I don't think can always play that way. I think he's more of a player that needs the ball in front of him to shoot on sight rather than holding the ball up and bringing players into play. Um, but I have to say, you know, sitting here, we're in a great position in the league. We've not lost no key players. I, I'm personally happy 
with with the window, with it shutting. We didn't lose Corley, we didn't lose Mowat, we lost none of us defenders. You know, Callum Britton, who's been probably the best signing of the season so far, he's still here. Callum Styles is still here, which I think Styles, I, I did say I didn't think he'd go this window anyway. I think he's going to be either next season or summer. I hope not anyway. He need to stay here as long as possible, but... Yeah, we can't sit here and not be happy the fact that we've retained, we've we've brought players in and the only ones to go out are loans um, and players who aren't necessarily going to get a game, obviously. I would have liked to have seen that maybe Schmidt, Miller go out, uh, get games because I, I do think they are going to struggle. We do have a lot of strikers on the books now. I think I mentioned seven yesterday. You've got Woodrow, Adebayajo, Chaplin, Freezer, um, Miller, Schmidt... You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of strikers now to choose from, and obviously DK who we signed. Um, but I think certainly Woodrow will it'll be Woodrow DK, um, Chaplin will probably get a look in as well there. So another Biagio, uh, Freezer nine again probably. But yeah, I think I certainly think we've we've maintained as position. We've probably made ourselves that little bit st stronger in depth. Again, going back to midfield, maybe if I were nitpicking probably just that area, I would have liked to have seen with us obviously loaning one out. But other than that, you know, we can't complain because I think defensively this season, I mean, you look at Mads Anderson, he's been absolutely fantastic. You know, last season, couldn't, couldn't get anything right this season. And this is what we were saying back then. You know, we needed players ready to hit the ground running and we signed a lot of new players who just had had to have time to adapt and that was a big reason why we had such a poor season last season. You know, Mads was such a, he's still a young player, but he's come on leaps and bounds because he's had he's he's, he's developed, he's had a, he's had nearly two years. So that's what we're saying, and that's what we were saying back in twenty nineteen when we were awful before Struber came in, when Stendhal was sacked, all them players, we signed so many players in one who just probably needed time. And, and when you're in the championship, you know, you've got to hit the ground running, especially open, at the beginning of the season. Otherwise, you can get cut adrift. And luckily, you know, you know, God was smiling on us at the end of last season and we stayed up. Um, but yeah, I can't speak highly of him. Solbauer, fantastic. Elick, you know, and and then the two wing backs have been a revelation there. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm 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 really happy the fact that we've done that. And hopefully, you know, it gets us to the end of the season. Fingers crossed. You know, we we pick ourselves back up in terms of the results. I know we've gone. Listen, we're always gonna. We couldn't have carried on that run and run and run because like I've said it on here again before. I just I don't think we are good enough for top six. I don't think we are. I think next season we may we'll see where we are depending on recruitment, depending on who we signs. Hopefully, if we can get Mowat tied down, like I said, then maybe you could start having a look at it. It's not a you know we can't just expect to be there. You know, you've got to build gradually. You've got to have that depth. You've got to have that willingness, that determination. And I think maybe we are lacking still. But January, I don't think it's the right time to do that anyway. I think that your summer's that time. This January was about just getting a, getting a few extra new faces in to help us stay in a stable position till the end of the season. And I have to say we've done that. And fair play to the board, Dane, Valley and Ishmael. You know, I give them credit for, for that because at the end of the day, you know, we've seen January's come and go where we've been doing really well. Those players that are out of contract in the summer go and uh, that we've not we've not had that. So fair play and fair play for bringing players in, and I hope that all of them work out, I really, really do. So, uh, yeah, that's my little uh, review on January, guys, it was a nervy month, as it always is, been a Reds fan, but maybe, just maybe now, two Januaries in a row, no key players lost, we could start getting used to a new January, where new faces come in, and old ones don't go out. So, uh, get your comments in, guys, let me know what you think, I will see you all very, very soon, take care, and be careful in that snow, because it's absolutely come down again, hasn't it? Uh, absolutely come down again that snow um, I mean I like snow anyway so don't bother me so thank you for watching guys see you all soon you Reds